Hi, it's Rod Warwick, board certified plastic surgeon in Dallas, Texas. Let's talk nose job. Let's talk rhinoplasty. How do you find a rhinoplasty surgeon? What do you ask? What do you really want out of a rhinoplasty? So I'm going to share with you this story of Nicola and show her six month results where we talk about her top three concerns. What are they? Her dorsum, her nose doesn't match her face, her bulbous tip, the bump on her nose. These are all things that are her top three concerns. So when you're looking to do a rhinoplasty, you know, think about what you, what you want out of the rhinoplasty. And then most important, the most important thing is to find a rhinoplasty surgeon, a true rhinoplasty surgeon, an expert that can help you get the results you want. Because rhinoplasty is the hardest thing we do in all of plastic surgery. It's a surgery of millimeters. And so you want to try and get it right the first time, if possible. It's obviously none of us are God, but the goal is to find someone that does it frequently, shows excellent results, teaches others how to do it, and really can explain to you what the process is and to give you a nose that matches your face, not the cookie cutter nose of the past, that ski slope or that overturned tip that looks terrible. Remember, we're in the face protection, not witness protection program in, in plastic surgery. In a rhinoplasty, the goal is to make it look like you've never had a rhinoplasty. And that's really what you see in, in Nicola. She says, you know, this is the nose I always thought I deserved. And she said it again at, at six months post-op. So, no, before you go, find a board certified plastic surgeon or, or facial plastic surgeon that has expertise in rhinoplasty, that does it several times a week that knows exactly what you want. You need to be in the same mindset. That's why I always ask the top three concerns just before surgery. So they dream it and I do it. That's very important to do. Now, the outcome is obviously determined, you know, not only by the skill of, and the mastery of the surgeon, but also by your wound healing and genetics. So it's never gonna be perfect. It's gonna be better, straighter. And I've done over 8,000 rhinoplasties. I've never done a perfect rhinoplasty. But the goal is to be open and upfront and honest and to give the patient a nose admit that fits their face and make sure that they understand what, what, you, what you mean. And that's why we use computer imaging to show them, give them an idea of what's possible. And that's really the whole, whole thing is to be honest, open, open about it, give them a nose that's natural, looks good on their face. And then you're in a high majority of patients are gonna be very happy. Know before you go. Your surgeon is a major determinant in the outcome of, of you having an amazing nose to match your beautiful face. Hope you enjoyed this and learned a lot. And the key with my videos is that you, my goal is to educate you to be the best you can be every day in every way. Have a great one. I'm here with Nicole and she's going to tell me exactly what she wants to do. I love it. I love it. So three, three top concerns. Yes. So the dorsal hump, I want to take that down and make it a little bit of a slope if slight, possible. Slight, yeah. slight slope. I want to deproject my nose. I think it sticks out a little mm -hmm. too far. Yeah. And then um, my, my tip, I've got a so, bulbous tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I want to refine that. Yeah. You can see that she's got a little dorsal hump. She's a little excess tip projection. She's adequately rotated, but she wants to deproject and bring it back and refine the tip. And, Good, and we'll straighten the inside, straighten the outside, you know, the split on the outside, split on the inside. Okay. We'll rock. Any questions? No, we're I'm ready. Do it. You dream it, I'll do it. We'll have All fun. Right. We'll have a lot of fun. It'll be great. Yeah, it'll be awesome. All right. Let's... Dorsal deviation, dorsal hump, bulbous tip, ailer flaring, correction. Suppler construction, suppler extension graft, ailer base resection, retrograde ailer contragrafts, tip reshaping. Slight dorsal hump, ailer notching, ailer flaring, bulbous tip correction, extension spanning sutures, spreader flaps, suppler extension graft, retrograde ailer contragraft, ailer base resection, and tip reshaping. So, Nicola, six months, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Amazing. Yes. Wow. So, what have you been doing? Um, well, I eased back into working out and that's been great and I've just been working and this has been healing nicely during the yeah, process. Yeah, you, you're living your dream? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do you like the most? Um, my profile. Oh yeah? Absolutely my profile. Oh yeah, it looks awesome. I feel feminine, I feel pretty. It feels like the nose I always thought I had. 
I think I said that last time too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like I look in the mirror and I look like how I've always wanted to look and how I always thought I looked. Yeah. Well, that's the ideal, the ideal uh, result. That's exactly what we want to say. And and it looks like you. You know, when I look at you, mm -hmm. I look at your beautiful eyes. And, well, what did you know? Yeah. Because it looks great. Yeah, it's amazing. And thank you. It just it, it is you. Yeah, I, I'm so pleased. It's exactly what I wanted, and I I honestly couldn't be happier with the best decisions. Yeah. Well, you're great. Yeah. <laughs> I love helping people like you. Well, thank you. All right, you go.